where I help busy women get hot and healthy from the inside out at any age. Today I have a great health drink for you. It is all about baking soda. That's right, I said baking soda. Now this is a great drink and we're gonna talk all about the benefits of baking soda. I'm gonna show you what I have here to make the drink. I have Bob's Red Mill Baking Soda. It's aluminum free and I, I just put it right here, nice and white. And I've got a lemon, an organic lemon. And right here I have about eight ounces of water. Usually I'll do 12 ounces of water, but I just wanted to show you in this cup today. So first let's talk about baking soda. Baking soda has been used for thousands of years for all sorts of different things. One of the things it's really great for is digestion. If you have an upset stomach, making this drink is really going to help with the digestion. Another thing it does is it, whoops, it cuts down on bloating and it's also great for alkalizing the body. You know, we're eating lots of processed foods. I hope you're not, but some people are eating a lot of processed foods. We're exposed to a lot of toxins every day. So this is something that you can add into your health toolbox to help balance the pH of your body. It's also been used um, in many cancer as a tool in cancer treatment, and you can do your own research on that. It's also great for um, reducing the lactic acid buildup from exercise in your body. So if you've gone, if you had a hard workout, muscle soreness, this is going to help take out that lactic acid buildup. That's what makes your muscles sore after a workout. So I have a whole bunch of other things that we're gonna talk about, but I wanna show you how I make this health drink. So we've got our water, we've got the baking soda, I'm gonna move this over here so you can see. This is a really big lemon, but we're going to cut the lemon in half. Don't you just love mm, the smell of lemon? I absolutely, absolutely love it. Okay, this recipe that I use, you can start with a quarter of a teaspoon. If you're new to this, that's what I would suggest. A quarter teaspoon of baking soda into your water. If you get a little braver, and again, less is more is what do they say less is more I don't want you to use too much of this because then it's going to have the opposite you're going to have ill health effects from using too much of this so don't get carried away let's start with a quarter teaspoon so here we go we're going to put that in our water and we're going to mix it up this is almost like a science experiment watch I'm going to take my citrus squeezer, put the lemon in, and we're going to squeeze it. And you're going to see the chemical reaction here. It starts to fizz up. It almost makes like a, a soda. Can you see the fizzing there? I'll bring it closer. Maybe you can hear it. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Okay. So that's as simple as it gets to make this drink. I know some people are concerned about... Um, the lemon and, and damaging the enamel on your teeth. If you feel that way, just use a straw to drink it. But that is that is it. This is great also if you have a hangover. This is another great thing, but I know you're not drinking too much. And just drink it down. It's really delicious. Super, super alkalizing to the body, and that is so important. I also have another great video on my morning health elixir. I'll put the link to that video, but let's talk about some other things that we can do with baking soda. Whoa, so many uses for this little white baby. It's a great exfoliator. You can use it on your skin. Just take a teaspoon, add some water, and exfoliate your skin. It's great to put into your in a bath, the bathtub, put in about quarter to a half a cup into your bath water, add some beautiful essential oils, and that's going to smooth your skin. And again, it's going to help reduce muscle soreness. 
It's great if you have a sunburn. Woo, hope you're not getting sunburn either, but it happens, we know that. So take a little baking soda and water and make a paste and just put it wherever you're sunburned. Let it sit there for about 20 to 30 minutes and then rinse it off. Baking soda is also great in the house. It's a great booster for your laundry detergent. You can add half a cup to a cup into your laundry. It's going to help soften the laundry. It's going to help freshen it up. You know, the boxes that they would put into the refrigerator, it absorbs odor. So you could just take this and put it in your refrigerator. You want to change it every three to four weeks. You could use a I would say about a half a cup of baking soda. It absorbs odor. If you have stinky sneakers, put some baking soda overnight in your stinky sneakers. You could also soak your feet in a nice warm bath, uh, tub, you know, a little square tub, and put some baking soda in. It's going to help with any foot odor that you have. It will help kill bacteria and help to fight toenail fungus, so that's another great thing. Also, we talked about the uh, baking soda and the lemon combined. That's really a powerful, powerful combination. And it helps if we have our kidneys that are not functioning at 100% and our liver, it's gonna help to alkalize that body, help the body, organs and tissues detox and get rid of the, the toxic stuff and start functioning better. Let's see. I have, we can use it as a carpet cleaner. You know I do not want you guys using smelly lotions, potions, and toxic chemicals in your home, especially when cleaning. So if you have carpet and you want to freshen up your carpet, just take a box or a bag of the Bob's Red Mill, put it in, I use um, like a Parmesan cheese shaker. I put, you can get them for a dollar at the dollar store. I put in a couple drops of essential oils and just sprinkle it on your carpet. Let it sit there for 30 to 45 minutes and then vacuum. It's gonna freshen it up. It's gonna take out those odors. You can do that on any sofas you have also that are fabric. We can make a scrub for our kitchen counters. It's not abrasive, it's not gonna scratch, but always you might wanna do a little sample um, patch on your counter, but you can make a nice uh, paste, which you can clean dishes with instead of um, the soft scrub. It's great to use in your pots and pans, or you can dilute it even more, put some essential oils in it, and you can use it to clean and disinfect your countertops and it's non-toxic. So those are some gr other great uses for the baking soda. And, and here we have our baking soda and lemon drink, which I can't wait for you to try. You're going to feel the effects, I'm telling you, immediately. So let me know how you like this video. You know I love when you guys leave me comments. Share it if you think it will help someone that you know, because I know it will. And also make sure to come visit me at lauralondonfitness.com for more health and fitness and wellness. All right, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Have a fit and fabulous day. Bye-bye.